All right, it's been a long time since we did an unboxing around here, so let's get started. Let's see what the uh, postman has done brought us. Looks like it's a electric fan for a Mercedes W126. Nice. AMC, Germany. It says Germany. Is it made in Germany? I just don't know. It probably isn't. If I had to take a guess, it's too cheap. The price was too good. And I see some scraping here on the uh, connector. Uh, it looks like something was scraped off. Actually, it says, I'll show you what it says. I don't know what, maybe it's just a, it says, West, it says something Germany there. Does it not? Anyway, let's see what the backside, see, it's been scraped off. So, I guess my question is, was it made in China or was it made in Germany? That is my question. Or was it made in Taiwan or some other country? I really have no idea. But the price was good and my fan is shot. So let's get busy and put this on the car. Have you ever watched the, uh, the late 1970s version of the invasion of the body snatchers with Donald Sutherland? And at the end of the movie, Donald Sutherland turns and looks at the woman and he points at her. And he screams bloody murder because his body has now been snatched up by the alien pods. Remember that sound that he made? That's what this fan sounds like. We're going to swap this thing out because, <laughs> quite honestly, when it turns on, it sounds like I'm dragging a crowbar behind the car. We've got this short bracket here. You don't really want to put a wrench on that. It's too close to the radiator. Same for that. So what you have here is we're going to get a, it uh, looks like a 10 millimeter. We're going to get this guy off. I'm going to get this bracket here. There's two bolts here and here. I'm going to disconnect that. That, that holds the horns here. And we're going to take this one here off. So we're going to take the horn, the bracket, and the fan and all that stuff off uh, together. And while we're off, we'll, uh, we'll clean up the uh, condenser a little bit there. Just, you know, get some of the bugs and crap out of there. And then we'll swab the fan out and reinstall and crank her up and see how she works. And hopefully there's no nuts to contend with other than the one in the room and uh, everything will be self-tapping screws and make our life easier it looks like this fan is a Bosch it's original equipment but I checked the uh, parts website they wanted like $375 for a fan for a Bosch fan to fit this car and I was like, you know, I love to put original parts, original German parts on this vehicle, but, you know, I'm just going to draw the line someplace, right? So it's just not a battle that I'm willing to fight. You don't want to tear up the condenser. One last screw on the top. All right, I'm going to set that right there, and I'm going to take this 8 millimeter nut off here so that we can get the fan uh, loosened from the horn assembly, and then I'll unplug the fan over here from its harness. I'll need to clip this uh, tie wrap right here. Uh, no big deal, we just got to get it done, so stand by for that. All right, we'll go ahead and clip our... Uh, clip our wiring harness away from there. I wonder 
if you could JB weld that back together. <laughs> okay, enough of that. All right, so there's your wiring harness connector back in there. So I'm going to get a screwdriver in here and just sort of pry that apart like that a little bit and pull on it with my other hand and then we'll get that out of there. Uh, let's see, what's next? All right, we're gonna let the horns dangle over there. All right, we are free, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take this over to the bench and uh, transfer the bracketry and the fan shroud and all that kind of stuff. And it's not too crucial about the orientation. It just needs to be straight. You've always got a little wiggle room. Let's do this top one here next. You don't want to get this one too tight because you need a little uh, you need a little flexibility uh, to get everything positioned. So just want to snug it up a little bit there uh, because you're going to need to move that around a little bit when you put everything back together. Uh, let's see, and then that is all for the brackets that need to be transferred. Let's take this little shroud off next. Hey, that's one way to do it. Hey, look at that. Just drop it. It'll come right off. Here's the movement of the old fan. All right. And here's the movement of the new fan. But it moves a lot more freely, so we're going to go with it. And to be honest with you, it was so cheap that, well... If I'm not happy with it, I'll just go buy the expensive Bosch one and put that put it on. So we're going to give this a try and see how well it works. It's got to sound better than this one over here because when you crank this rascal up, it sounds like a it sounds like there's a cat outside your bedroom window, and that cat has well another cat with them, and they're doing things. You get the point. Anyway, this was actually broken already, and I had uh, poorly JB welded it together. And uh, we're going to poorly JB weld it back together. I'm going to put that on after I get the fan on the car. All right, so the last bolt we removed is going to be the first one back on. All right, so we've got it loosely attached on the top and on the bottom. And now we're going to um, we're going to get this bolt over here from the horn bracket onto the side of the fan, or onto the side of the fan, because you don't want to try to do that up there near or next to the condenser coil, because you don't want to damage it. Get this guy under here. That's what that looks like. Okay? That's what that looks like. It's kind of a pain, to be honest with you. So it's kind of hard to film that. All right, last thing, plug the connector back in, and we'll put a tie wrap on this to uh, tidy up our wiring job here. 
All right, that can only go on one way. There's three prongs on it and it clicks when it gets into place. We'll bend that little piece of metal back like it was. Let me go get a tie wrap. Since I have to repair this, I'm gonna sand this down a little bit and uh, do a better job on that. And I will uh, let that dry for a couple of days. But for right now, let's go ahead and test it. Well, instead of cranking the car up and waiting for it to heat up and all that blah, 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 let's just test it the old fashioned way. Hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys again real soon. Take it easy. All right, I had a question from Vito's Garage about the idle speed of this car uh, after I did the, uh, the cooling job, cooling maintenance job. Did you hear that? The cooling fan just kicked in. The electric fan kicked in again. And it's it's pretty noisy anyway so um, I am in drive the air conditioning is on it is about 29 C 28 and a half our temperature ticked up to about 84 probably I'm guessing and cooling the electric fan came on and the RPM I'm guessing is right at 750 uh, it seems to be right in the middle between the 5 and the 10 there, so there you go. Now let's see what happens to the RPM when I put it in park. All right, and I let off the let off the brake. Stayed about the same, really. All right, let's turn the air conditioner off. Does that have an effect on it? Hmm. Yeah, it's a little higher. It looks like it's probably running around 800 RPM. But it's pretty solid. The electric fan kicked in and it's uh, doing its job trying to bring the temp back down. It looks like we're running probably 85. It just shut off. There we go. 